Now, I did want to point out that this is not going to be a gameplay video of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan. What this is going to be is more or less a discussion type of video in which I'm going to talk to you guys. You know, I want to say face to face, but you know, there's no face to face, but you know what I mean. I'm going to talk to you guys about whether or not Kaioken Blue Goku's banner will be something that you should be truly interested in. I don't want to... I don't want to kill the hype because I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, but I do want to be real with you guys and temper expectations, especially if you're a free player. You know, they just released all the story stones again with the new story missions and stuff like that, and the story doesn't get updated very often. You've got to be kind of judicial with the stone spendage. But what I wanted to talk about is whether or not the blo the Goku banner is something that, like I said, you should be really interested in. Now, I want to start off by saying that Kaioken Blue Goku is one of the best units in the game. He is probably in that 5 to 7 range as far as like overall best cards in the game. Probably around 4, 5, 6, 7 in that area. But I will also say that there are issues with the unit. Now, the main drawback with the unit is that he has a turn-based passive. For 10 turns, he gets 20,000 more attack and 10,000 more defense. That allows him to hit incredibly hard. I, under certain circumstances, I can get him over 600 and 700,000 damage. And you've seen it if you've seen me use my AGL team on Dokkan JP. You know, uh, you've seen me do it. You, and also, with that huge defense buff, he does tank normal attacks pretty well. Especially if he has type advantage, he'll probably take double-digit damage. So, so, overall... He's a great unit, and he's one of the only units in the game. I believe only him and the STR Super Saiyan God Goku have shocking speed, prepare for battle, and over in a flash in their link set. So overall, phenomenal unit. I don't want to take anything away from him. But what I will say is this. The thing is that that new dupe training system that JP has, that Global will probably get in like a month, month and a half, something like that, that new training system devalues units that basically get flat attack boosts and it favors units that get the percentage-wise attack boosts. Like, for example, uh, a unit that, like Goku Black, for example, he gets 100% up on his passive, unconditional, as opposed to the Super Saiyan Blue Goku who gets the 20,000. You know, the thing is that it's a percentage-based boost, and what I mean by that is, with that new training system, you can increase these characters' attack stats, so the higher their natural attack stat is, you know, the higher the percentage boost will be, which obviously means they'll wind up doing more damage. I bring this point up because the AGL, the old one, the old AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku has a 100% up when he super attacks passive. He has 80% now, but when he Doken Awakens, uh, the original Super Saiyan Blue Goku, he goes to 100% when he super attacks. And that 100% pre-dupe system, before the dupe system was even announced, allowed that Goku to hit almost as hard as Kaioken Blue Goku does. So, you know, that being said, he already was already on par with the damage output on a super attack, of course, but I digress. He was already pretty close. I think somebody did the math way back. It was like 7% less damage. And the thing is, too, is that there will probably be an upcoming Vegeta Doken Fest, so him being linked with that AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta who probably would get a Doken Awakening, they're going to activate all those stupid links that Goku has in Resurrection F, Super God Combat, Godly Power, uh, Fierce Battle, of course, will be there. You know, all those different links. And then, man, if you get the Kamehameha link in there as well, that Goku is going to hit freaking hard. Somebody also did the math, and I'm going to quote Zenrod on this. He said he does like 70,000 more damage than the blue Kaioken Goku has. You know, that being said... It's crazy how the dupe system favors units that don't get flat attack boosts and it favors the units that do get the percentage based increased. So, you know, I don't really, I want to say this too, is people get the uh, assumption that turn based passives are not good because they are obviously only for X number of turns. I would say that just about every unit that has a turn-based passive has a place in this game. They're all really good. Like I pointed out, this Goku is one of the best units in the game overall, and a lot of that kind of can be attributed to his Link set. And what I mean by that is, for example, the worst one, in my opinion, with the turn-based passive is the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. The reason I say this is because while he hits like a madman with that 100% up, once again, he's another one of those units that can do that, with 100% up increase on his passive while his passive is active, the second it dies out, he's useless unless you're running like over in a flash unit because what it is is he's not even a key battery. He doesn't do anything for anybody else. Whereas this Goku, Kaioken Blue, whenever he basically gets out of his passive which almost never happens i've seen it happen once since i've had the unit since he came out to jp because 10 is just long enough however with newer difficulties it's not going to be long enough i can tell you that now but 
you know, he basically, if, for example, he loses his passive, he can still be a key battery and provide key via links, and, you know, he can still hit relatively hard. So it's a weird dynamic. And the Vegeta, of course, still can stun. So that's another thing. The Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta STR, when he loses his tanking ability via his passive, he still can stun for the 50% chance. So, like, the Goku is the honestly the worst one in that scenario. He's the last one you want to have lose it. But like I said, he'll hit like a madman with that 100% active. So I don't want to take anything away from the Kaioken Blue Goku. I'm not even going to talk about the tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku because he's a great unit. However, he's not an attacker. He's a supporting unit. So he's going to get his thing. And the reason why I wanted to point this out is that a lot of people will probably be disappointed when they realize, if they haven't already, that Kaioken Blue Goku, his name is not Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, it's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan SS Goku, meaning that he cannot be used with the regular Super Saiyan Blue Goku in the same team. He can't be. So you have to choose. Now, basically my verdict is this. You should summon on this banner for one if you don't have Super Vegito. If you don't have Super Vegito, go for it. If you don't have Kaioken Blue Goku, go for it of course nobody will have him however i will say this don't go crazy on the banner because he will be the best subunit on agl i'm not going to take that away from him but honestly you can do without him especially if you have the other regular agl super saiyan blue the thing is you'll have to be a little bit more consistent with your links you probably run a little bit more of a prepare for battle hybrid versus running prepare for battle slash shocking speed or just shocking speed but you know you can do without the cow can blue goku banner or the cow can blue goku card excuse me and also keep in mind this, don't go crazy on it because he's going to be back. He will be back. He will be back, especially if Global gets that God banner with those tickets. He'll be back a few times. So, like, there's no point in going crazy on this banner. If you happen to pull that blue Goku, awesome. I already have the old blue Goku. I'm honestly probably not even going to summon for Kaioken Blue because I'll be okay with the old one when he Doken Awakens. As I said, 100% up is ridiculous. And he's like super attack 8 for me. He's going to hit like a madman. So I just wanted to point that out for you guys for the people that did not know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you will be going hard for Kaioken Blue Goku, I take nothing away from you. Like I've said, his passive is fine. I don't want to say anything about his turn-based passive because it works just fine. One of the best units in the game. However, he's replaceable. <laughs> so there's that. Anyways, I've said enough. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.